AI and machine learning is at all time hype right now, but does this mean this is a great career path for you? Before you dive into machine learning, let me give you seven reasons why this may not be the path for everyone. Let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the competition. All I gotta say is that it's really intense. Machine learning is one of the hottest fields out there, which means it's attracting some of the smartest people in tech. You're not just gonna be competing with other software engineers, you're also going to be up against other PhDs and experienced researchers. Surveys show that more and more AI PhDs are going straight into industry rather than going into academia or research, making the job market tougher every year. Plus, a ton of CS graduates are also going straight into the job market instead of pursuing higher degrees. And the kicker is that if you're looking for entry-level machine learning roles, there really isn't a ton of them. Other fields in tech are also challenging to get into, but they do tend to offer a little bit more options for junior engineers who are just starting out. Now, if you're not ready to compete with machine learning engineers who have been learning for years, you might find it a little bit difficult to stand out in the market. Next reason is that the work itself can be a lot of pressure. Machine learning projects often come with tight deadlines, high expectations, and a lot of responsibilities. And by nature, a lot of these projects are experimental, which means that you're always trying to prove your work. And to top it off, the stakes are really high. Some of the projects can literally have life or death stakes. And these type of fast paced environment can be stimulating for some people who love to thrive under pressure. So ask yourself if you're the type of person who would love being in this kind of environment? Maybe, maybe not. Then there's the office politics. Working in AI doesn't mean just writing code. It often means dealing with a lot of intense workplace dynamics. Take what's happening with OpenAI. The board members have been clashing over the company's direction with people being fired and rehired and fired again. It's a cycle that can create really intense and unpredictable work environment. And for some people, the excitement might be worth it, but if you don't want to deal with this level of workplace drama, it might be something that you want to think about. Now let's talk about the investment that you'll need to make in both time and money. And unlike how some YouTubers may portray it as, getting into AI or machine learning isn't as simple as learning Python. You are going to need a strong foundation in math and computer science, like data structures and algorithm, and that could mean years of studying, even going to advanced degrees. Like for example, it could mean going back to school or signing up for specialized courses or spending years in self-study plans. And honestly, these programs are never cheap unless you're doing the self-study plan. But in that case, it might take even longer for you to actually get into machine learning. So just know whichever path you choose, there will be a big time commitment, which is my next reason. Learning AI is never quick. You might have to spend months or years just to develop the skills that are needed to really break into the field. And if you've already been working in the industry and thinking about a career change, this might not be so feasible for you. And for some people, it might even mean making some really big sacrifices along the way. And let's say you did put the time and money into learning and you learned the technology. Well, machine learning is constantly evolving. So you might just blink and there's something new for you to master all over again. This means you can't just learn one set of skills and be done with it. You're going to need to keep up with the latest development constantly. And if you're not the kind of person who loves fast paced changes and constant learning, it could start to quickly feel overwhelming. And this brings me to my last reason. There are other options that you can consider as well. There are so many other paths in tech that you can look into. You can look into data science, data engineering, even data analysts or business analyst roles often require far less specialized skills and are generally a little bit more open to hiring junior candidates. And starting in one of these roles doesn't mean you have to be in that role forever. It can be your stepping stone into AI or machine learning if you know, down the road you've been working for a while and you still feel like you really need to make that career switch into AI or machine learning, you can always build that foundation and transition later. If you haven't checked out my interview videos, I have one with Don who started as a business analyst and moved into data science after failing the interviews with her dream job four times. It's a really great interview, so give it a watch if you haven't seen it yet. I'll link it somewhere. 
Now, don't get me wrong, machine learning can be exciting and rewarding career for the right person, and it can be incredibly fulfilling. But if you are considering diving into ML, I just want to make sure you're aware of the potential downsides. If none of the challenges that I mentioned haven't scared you off yet, maybe this is a great path for you. And of course, there are major perks to pursuing machine learning. There's the high earning potential. ML engineers are some of the highest paid professionals in the world. And if you do crave intellectual stimulation, you'll find it here. You'll have the opportunity to work on cutting edge projects that can be really exciting. Plus, machine learning has the power to make real impact, transforming many industries, not just in tech, but also outside of tech, and improving lives all over the world. So whatever path you choose, make sure it's one that's genuinely exciting for you and aligns with your long-term goals. Now, if you're curious about what other paths are out there in AI and tech, check out this video. Otherwise, YouTube thinks you should watch this one next. I'll see you there.